Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah, gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Yeah. Hey, sis. Thank you for answering my call. You didn't have to, but you did, and I appreciate you for it. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing marvelous on this terrific Tuesday. Today is March the 19th. Um. I'm about to head out because I had to go to a meeting at 1. And then after that, I had to go pick up my niece's prescription and pick up some mouthwash for the girls. But first, I had to get some gas. And y'all, I didn't go early this time. I, I came home and went to sleep. This time change has been throwing me all off, y'all. I have been going to bed like between 12.30 and 1 o'clock. And that's just not it. Y'all, I miss not wearing glasses. I have got to get some contacts. I gotta get the contest because I be wanting to wear some sunnies and I can't wear some sunnies if I have these. So, and plus, I want to, um, I've been going on Zilu and I just want some, some cute glasses to wear with different outfits. So, when I make my eye appointment, I might make it probably around April. I am going to get some contacts because sis missed her contacts and I miss just wearing shades because I love wearing shades. Anyway. Yes. Have y'all got anything done off your to-do list? Let me know how you are doing um, on today and what are you up to? Because sis don't have much to do until later when I have to go get, um, go to the, the baby shower. But, um, yes. So, this past weekend was a very busy weekend. Uh, as y'all know, on third Sundays, we have fellowship. Um, but it was a little bit different this time because we were celebrating both Kevin and my pastor's birthday and her late mom's birthday. And y'all, when I say we cooked, we cooked. When I say me and Kevin was cooking all day, like the last thing was done around 12 midnight. And we were some tired, I mean, some tired souls. But everything was beautiful. We had such a great time and everything y'all so if you don't follow me on facebook go follow me on facebook my um link to facebook is in the description box you will see everyone who participated we had such a wonderful time and we slept not not slept y'all we danced and ate and everything and then also the friday before me and kevin finally had a date night like we haven't had a date night in so long and we had such a wonderful time we had a great conversation we, we went to old time we were trying to go to longhorns but however longhorns were full and we didn't have time for that so you know we just went to uh, old time and sat there and ate and talked and everything spent some great time together and everything and y'all already know when something's going good the enemy has to show up some type of way so i'm gonna pay for this gas first and then pump this gas i gotta put air in this tire too and when i do that i'm gonna tell y'all what happened like and when i say i was i was being away let me go pay for the day <coughs> okay see so i'm back um so let me tell you this story time okay you know when like i said when stuff you're going good you don't even have to come in there somewhere you're gonna use anything and everything to throw you off course okay so you know how you have a family member a family member or a certain family member that um does well with their life move on their life on uh, hold on let me get y'all together so y'all can see nice okay there we go oh neutral okay so you know how you have a family member that moves out of the home city that you're in whatever doing great for their lives and stuff like that and so that like, kudos to them no problem this next third however what i do not like about those type of some what well, I'm, I'm not gonna say all of them i'm gonna say all of them but you know you got some of them family members who moves on their life, make a great successful life, supposedly, and judges everybody that does not live like them. Now, if this one family member and it's the son. Now, me and the son, we're more like brothers and sisters than cousins or whatever. And so, we've been talking all these years or whatever. Then went through the whole COVID thing with me, everything. And so, um, he see how I transformed and all this and that third, how 
I see life differently now. I try to move in the purest way possible because life is short. And I try to help many people I can. You know, I don't get used anymore. But um, I used to, I, I just see things different. Because before then, I was a people pleaser. I enabled everybody. All that. I mean, I was just living for everybody else, not myself. And so after that, after that experience, you know, with COVID, with my parents and everything, you know, this, that, and all that there. Um, wrong person, no. But, um, I see things different. I really, um, I really care about all my relationships, things that I do, everything I have good intentions for, okay? So, me and this family member, this family have not talked to anybody in the family. The mama died, brother died, sister died, everybody died in the family without you coming to see. The only person you came down here, the only time you came down here is when your mama died and you paid for the funeral. Well, other than that, you wouldn't come see you. You had all this, that, third, whatever. Okay, no judgment, fine. However, this person had a tragic, you know, they had like a bad childhood with that parent with my grandma or whatever, this and that third. Now, I don't like this here. You know, I used to be kind of bitter too with my parents or whatever. However, I had to learn that their parenthood as well as our parenthood is pretty much a response to how they were raised or how they was treated. Whether it be good or for bad, you have to understand that. Now, you can either be mad, break away, don't say anything to, or you can educate like, hey, what you I understand you grew up this way here, but that's not that's not for me. That's 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 not how you that's not how I want our relationship to be, and that's how it was with my dad, because my dad he was he grew up um in an abusive parent. I mean, childhood getting beat for no reason, all this and that third, and so he thought that was the route he could go to keep his children in line. And I had to say, hey, no. That's, that's not going to work now. If you want discipline, that's one thing. But just beat me for no reason just because you mad or just because you uh, think that would keep me in line. No, we're not going to have it. And me and my dad bumped heads a lot of times until he got to the point he realized, okay, okay, what I'm doing is not right. It's causing anger inside my kids. I might need to straighten up. And we end up being best friends. So, unlike that, unlike my family member, he didn't do that. He held grudges. And so everybody who lived, every family member that lives inside the, the state of Georgia, just in this city, the city period, he has nothing to do with. So, um, we ended, I ended up on a phone call Saturday from said family member that we, I like brothers and sisters to. And, you know, he just went through this whole little thing or whatever. He ended up having a kumbaya moment with his parents, which I'm all about that. I'm all about that. I'm all about that. However, you know, one thing I do not like, and I told him this over. So I told what I'm telling y'all, I told him. What I don't like is the fact that if you end up with a perception of someone because of what somebody said, that's immature. And especially if you don't know the ends and out of everything. Now, I love this, this relative to deal. However, I don't fool with him. Now, the way it portrayed that I just don't like the person altogether. No, I don't like what the person did to me. Pretty much saying that I'm not doing anything in my life because I don't have a, a house. I, don't, I, don't have, I didn't pay for a house and all this next third. You need to move out of um Cordy because I live in Cordy and I moved out twice. I moved out immaturely, prematurely, and I ended up having to come back. And so I, I promised myself when I moved the third time, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be right. So. We talked about, I said, well, I wasn't ready. You're always ready to move. I mean, no, I'm not. It's all the story. It's one thing with just me and Kevin. It's another thing with just me, Kevin, and all the kids. I just can't open moves like that. We had to plan it out or whatever. But anyway, then it was like, maybe because it's where you at. Another wrong, wrong uh, red flag. Why would you judge somebody for where they are? Then said, because um, cause he said he ended up with a perception of me because what his father said. I didn't like that. But long story short, I told him, I said, if your dad, if your dad really wrong a relationship with anybody, he would stop judging people because of where they stay at, whatever. He needs to look at the context of their character. So, and the thing about it, I desire a relationship with him because he's, he's my last relative on my mom's side. Well, besides my aunt, but he's the last one. And so, I wrong a relationship with him, but however, I don't like being, being on the phone, been on the phone with people who constantly talking about money. You need to have this. You need that. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need. No. 
We don't need to talk about it all the time. Yes, you give me a little sign advice or whatever. Yes, I understand that. However, we both be trying to get to know each other. You don't know nothing about me. I barely know anything about you since childhood. But what gets me is the fact that if you got some unresolved issues um, when you were smaller, the, the generation that came after that has nothing to do with that. And that's why I pretty much was trying to say, you know, and I and to tell you the truth, I was heartbroken. When I said I cried, I cried. And it got to the point that I was fussing and cussing on the phone because of what was said. And I'm like, we have nothing to do with what happened back then. Either you're going to heal from it and love your family members, um, you know, after that, or you're just going to cut everybody out because where we at, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit, and that hurt my feelings so freaking bad. Hurt my feelings so bad. And I was like, and, and you know, the, the funny part about it is the fact that I still desire a relationship with this relative because I love purely. It's not because of what you have or what you do. I love you for you. What's your part? And due to the fact that I got treated that way because of what happened back in the past that 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 really bothered me that hurt me so bad i was so mad i think i'm more heartbroken than anything but i was mad as well because you don't do that we had nothing to do with that you don't treat the the descendants a certain type of way because of what the person the generation before that we had nothing to do with that so if you just don't want to have a relationship with us just say that if you feel like that we are piss poor below you just say that and I'll be fine. I respect you more if you just say, y'all just said oh, my standards. I just don't want to talk to you. I'll be fine. I still love you. I'll be hurt. But I'll be just fine because that's how you feel. And you want to live about your life, go ahead. But one thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to chase you because of your status. The Lord didn't put me on this earth to, to chase nobody. And I'm telling you, don't chase nobody. If, if that person just don't want to have anything to do with you, leave it alone. And that's what I did. I said what I had to say in the, those text messages or whatever after the conversation or whatever. And I left alone. I haven't said anything about it since then. But it's painful. But my thing is that why that's why a lot of people don't get far in life because they think they're doing something. But when the when you get blessed, you you forget about people. You forget that you came from a certain area, and just like people who get their life right with Christ, or whatever was supposed to, and they get up in these high horse thing like they don't have a past, and that really pisses me off. To be honest, excuse my language. But it really pissed me off that you get like you're not humble enough to understand that you had a past. No, I'm not saying you need to stay in it, but you need to use it as a reminder of where you came from. And that keeps you from treating people like crap. And that's my that's my mindset the whole time after I came from the little thing with COVID. I see life differently. And so as I grow on YouTube or whatever this net third, I'll be humble enough to try to bring other people with me. Now, if someone don't go past me, that's the Lord's will. But at the end of the day, I don't want to act like I haven't came from a past or I haven't came through nothing. And people get really pissed me off when they get to a status and forget where they come from. No, I'm not saying you got to save everybody. No, I'm not saying you you have to give out money. No, I'm not saying all that. But remember where you come from. If somebody, if you see somebody in a lower situation than you or whatever, lend a helping hand. It's free. Just give them advice. Well, you don't have to give no money. Do something out of the, the harmonies and kindness of your heart and, and show thankfulness to God that you actually came from a place that you really want to be out of. Like, I was mad. I ain't gonna lie. I was mad about that. And I, it, it, I was in, in the mess. The messed up thing about it, y'all tell I'm both sick. I'm stuttering. I it, it. I was in the middle of cooking, spending time with my family for fellowship that Sunday. Just had a wonderful time with my husband that Friday. Wonderful time. Then get up that Saturday to get I'm stuff together to cook for fellowship Sunday. Then I get up that phone call, and I knew it was the enemy. And that one, and then what really hurt me, I was I was very emotional yesterday. I didn't record yesterday. First of all, I was tired. And then yesterday I was so emotional. And I was like, even though you try to move in the purest of heart and the purest intention, somebody still is going to find something negative about you. And that hurt me so bad. And then like I posted on my community post about the white heart. That's why I used the white heart. Because I tried to move in the purest intention, knowing that the Lord had brought me so far. And I try to help many people. 
And I, like I would tell the Lord, as I grow up, and because I know, I know, soon and very soon, I'm going to get past my goal on YouTube. I see it, because I seen I had a dream last night about it. I, I got to tell y'all about that dream. I had a dream last night. I had two dreams. <laughs> but I know the Lord, the Lord is going to elevate me so freaking high that I, I, I don't think I can even comprehend it. But I'm practicing now on how to remember other people as I go up. I don't know if y'all paid attention that on my community post, it's pretty much full of other people's videos. People up, up, up higher than me, people lower than me. Because I know if I work hard, and it's very hard for me to make it, I know it's hard for them. Now, I won't be able to, to help everybody, you know, but I'm trying to show, I'm trying to extend that love and grace and mercy that God has on me to everybody else or, 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 as much as I can anyway, because I know I can't help everybody. But just know, if I haven't shared you yet or whatever, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm only one person. It's like 15 million of y'all. But I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm trying. I'm working on that. And I just pray to the Lord to continue to keep me humble. And that's one of my ways of keeping myself humble by doing stuff like that on purpose. Doing great deeds for the Lord on purpose. Is that by sharing, sending a comment, something, or whatever, even out here like, um, like you seen for the um the new YouTube I had met, she published the book. Okay, that's part of her dreams. So I wanted to sow into her dreams by first advertising her, and second of all, supporting her by purchasing her book. That helps her get this more exposure, help her grow, and that's what I want for her. As well, I know somebody else want me to grow as well. So I know in, in the end, and I don't think nothing about it, but I know in the end, the Lord going to bless me for it. I know it is. I know he is. I, I don't do it just for the people. I do it for the God, too. I do it for God, too, because I know the end of the day, he's watching. He sees things that y'all don't see. And I'm trying to be in right standing with him. But I know I say all that to say this. is When you grow, when the Lord take you out of one what they call the miry clay, where you bring you out the, the pits of whatever it is that you just came from and put you on the pedestal or whatever, don't forget other people. Don't act like you higher than everybody else because we all bleed red. We, all our poops stink. We all sin. All that. We, we Nobody's better than the other. But that's all I had to say about that because y'all, that, that, when I said that made me mad, when I said that pissed me off to the highest level of pissivity, it pissed me off because I don't, I don't like that because I'm trying to, I'm, I seen a new life after 2021, September 2021. My life was changed. I it was over with the old one, on with the new one. I'm in a whole new life. I'm rewriting my whole story away from whatever the generational problem they had. I'm trying to write my own story. This is my own story. I'm not connecting every other family member to it. No, this is mine. This is mine and my family. And whatever the Lord decides to grasp into that, that's on Him. I'm not going to do this on my own. So I hope that that gave you some light and insight or whatever. Y'all know how to give y'all something. Y'all know how to give y'all something. But I hope they give y'all some light and insight of everything. But just let y'all know how that weekend went. But other than that, it was great. But like I said, you know, the enemy had to come in somewhere. Anyway, so I'm here at Starbucks waiting on um, the person I had to meet with. Let me show y'all what I had purchased from Ross, y'all. So I went with the Ross and I got me a, a shower cone. Baby, I had one. I said I had to wash my hair. I had to wash my hair because I told Kevin, I said, when I go pick up Kylie and my nephew on here, my butt straight in that shower and wash the mess out of my hair. I got a shower comb now because I had a shower brush. I had one a long time ago, but I don't have to, but I got me another for Ross. Also, y'all, you know, sometimes you be on the road eating. I had to get me some dental floss picks. And um, they was $4.99, as you can see. I didn't, I didn't take the price tag off. And they're mint flavor. And this is what they look like on the inside. They're pink and white. That's so cute, right? I love that. And this is what they're made like. That's how they made. It. Got a little pink on the end, a little floss. So yes, and it smells just like mint. So that's one addition I have inside the truck. I had said I told Kim that I had wanted to start putting um floss picks inside the truck because um. You know, sometimes I can be eating and driving or whatever. And, you know, or sometimes you go out to eat and you have stuff in your teeth. Yeah, that right now. It's 180 pieces in here as well. You know, I can see that. So, yeah, I got that right in here. So, the only thing I purchased was, like, the little 
shower comb and the um the um what it is the flosser so it's 12.54 I'm about to go in hopefully she's in there I'm trying my best not to order a caramel ribbon crunch I'm trying not to Try not to, but we're gonna when I leave from there, we're gonna have to go to Walmart. We might do a little browsing because I haven't browsed with y'all in a little minute and get the girls some mouthwash and stuff. So, all right, I'll be seeing y'all back in a minute. He's cute. All right, y'all. So I just came from the pharmacy, and I had to go get my niece iron pills. However, it was not covered on the insurance, and they wanted me to pay about. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. They wanted me to pay about thirty bucks for it. And I'm like, uh-uh, so I called the doctor. I called the doctor, and she, uh, the nurse, so I thank God for our doctor office. I thank God for our nurse, because she, she, A1, she said, baby, you ain't got to go through that place. She said, go get one over the counter. You can get it over the counter, and I'm going to pay $5 or something. Baby, when I tell you, the pharmacy clinic, the pharmacy department is trash. If I would know I got this over the counter, I would just did it in the first place. Cause the first time it used to be covered on the insurance. However, it don't it's the same medicine that she had last year. Got this year, it's not covered. Like make it make sense. This is cute, right? So I ain't gonna find it for five bucks. So anyway, let me get ready to get this story, y'all. I know I'm finna go, but look what Bet Drew Banner came with some plates, y'all. Some plates. These cute little bowls. Also come with the little black set. Period. Y'all know I love Drew Barrymore stuff, y'all. Y'all know I do. All right, y'all. So I'm out of Walmart. Now I just can't get over that. So I, if I would have known that the whole time, that I could have just bought just those, those same type of um iron pills over the counter, I would have been doing that the whole time. But I just don't understand how it, it ain't enough for me to complain about because it's not even my business. It's not even my own my my pharmaceutical thing, whatever it is. Not even in my name, so I need to be trying to complain about it because mm, this hush teeth, it just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. So I'm about to stop by Sir K and get me a grank. How the old people say, get me a grank, a fountain drink, because I didn't get one in the store because everybody was standing over the, the drink on the refrigerator. But I thought about it, I can get one cheaper at, uh, at Sir K, just in a cup. And as much as I want instead of the bottle, so I'm going to do that because I'm going to be at I'm going to be at college school extremely early because I'm not going all the way back home, y'all. Because it's about to be 1:45, and um, I ain't got to pick up to like two. I ain't got to be at by two something, but you know, I brought my books with me so we could do the most because I knew I was going to be out here kind of early because the of uh, the interview. So yeah. I'm going to hit a circle keg, get something to drink, and wait on Kylie. I didn't even stop. No, look for a vehicle. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? All right, so let me get my drink, and then we can talk in a minute. Hey, sis, I'm back home. I'm kind of in a rush because I got to get home, well, get in here and take a shower and wash my hair so I can flat iron and everything. I, I pretty much got my outfit out. That I'm going to wear. Um, the scent I'm going to wear today is Pure Wonder from uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, 
I'm wearing my native lilac and white tea deodorant. The pure on the lotion I got free. And y'all, I got this pure on this body spray and the little small one for a gift on Christmas. So, um, I'm getting here, get a quick shower in. Well, it ain't gonna be too quick because I got to, I got to um, wash my hair. And plus, y'all know I'm a big girl. I'm a thick girl. I don't say big girl, but I'm a thick girl. And I had to wash between creases and crevices and stuff like that. So, um, I'm get myself together. Um, I'll be catching y'all. Well, hold on. Let's, let's, let's walk in here. Let's, let's walk in here. Now, I don't have my own. I didn't purchase my own um, shampoo as of yet. But I'm going to have to use the girl shampoo uh, today to wash my hair. I'm going to show you the um, shower comb that I got from Ross. It's, the, it's pretty much this here is white. God, it's bright in here. Goodness. But it's white. Good God, you can't even see it. So bright here. Put it against my shirt. But that's the um uh, what you call it. Um uh, I use this soap here today. The well, y'all know I use the coach ass soap, but I'm using this one. Turn it around, Tiffany. This one. The second one I got. And to be honest, I think this one here, I just used it today. But that one works better than the last one I used. So I think I like this one. I think I'm gonna stick with that brand and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um make sure I bathe with my caress soap today. Why is it so freaking bright in here? But <laughs> my career so I don't know y'all can even see that. Good God, hold on, what is going on? How? Oh, I see. Hold on. Okay, that's better. I don't know what that was, but here got the career so. This that can't see the hold on. That's the career so. There it is. Here is the brush. Okay, so that's better. I don't know what was going on with that. So I'm gonna get in the shower. And get myself together. I don't know how to end up brighten up like that. I don't even know like I can brighten up my phone like this. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get in the shower because my hair, like, is flaking all around here. It's flaking all over my head from last time. So let me get in the shower and I'll catch y'all when I get out. Alright, y'all. So I'm out the shower. I just washed my hair. I see a little bit, a few more little flakes. They're gonna blow out though. But this is clean my scalp has ever been. I don't know when. I should have been had me a shampoo brush, and so I'm glad I got the thing up here so y'all have to see my towel. But I'm gonna get ready to blow dry my hair and get ready to put my clothes on. But y'all, I had you know, so a song came on, I almost got to hear me. So when I was in the shower, I had played some 90s mix or whatever. And so it was a slow song coming on. I don't think it was the song, well, I don't think it was 90s mix. I don't think that song came out in the 90s, but. You know the song that said, if you think you're more That's what I thought it was. So, so you know, sometimes YouTube music will mix different uh, songs up inside a mix. It don't always be the same. It don't always be the right song. So that's what I thought they threw that in there. How about y'all? It was a Japanese song. <laughs> I heard this little melody. I said, okay, we're going to listen to the old, old West Tower. Then I heard, you're talking, 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 you're <laughs> this is going to be so bad. So, you see him blow dry my hair. Good thing about it, my hair don't take long to blow dry. And so, and so you blow dry his hair and blow the rest of them little part because I see. Because I screwed up look at my hair. Look at that. So, I'm going to blow dry my hair and I'll be catching y'all back in here after I put on my clothes. I put on my clothes and I'm about to press and curl my hair. Nothing too, ooh, that's so hot. Nothing too fancy. You just want to have some cute curls with what I got on. This outfit turned out just how I envisioned it. So I was so excited to show y'all. Look at that girl. Period. Period. I'm just going to free curl. I'm not going to do any parting. I'm just going to curl as I go. I just now want my fronts to be curled back. So to speak, y'all get what I'm saying, and that's gonna be it. I'm trying to, I need my comb, I should have got my comb, but um, I'm just pretty much free parting with my hair to um, flat iron.
and stuff. I'm so excited to go. Just to be out ooh, and about with loved ones. And just to be appreciated for you coming is just a blessing. Like we said, like I told y'all before, go where you appreciate, not tolerate. And at first I was going to decline because she was having another one. She's actually having two baby showers. This right here is like the work baby shower. You know, for the um co-workers and stuff. And so I was gonna skip this one and go to the one she was gonna do with the family because that's when I was gonna buy my gift. Because I have y'all know I've been shopping since forever. Um since I found out she was pregnant. And so I wasn't going to go to this one. I was gonna skip it however she wanted me to come. So I decided to go ahead and come. I had thought about it for now. I don't know. I don't know, but I said, you know what, I'm going to show up. My sis wants me to show up and I'm going to show up. You know, it's the small things. You just me showing up will make her day. Ugh, these girls are not perfect, but hey, we're we're working with it. I don't even have a comb in sight, y'all. I'm just I'm just walking by faith. I'm walking by faith. You know, hold on, let me get this down. I'm walking by faith, y'all. Hold on. We're gonna see how everything goes. So I have to end up. I don't know. We gonna curl it out. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's gonna curl. It's just gonna pull and curl, pull and curl. And I'm debating where I should wear a headband or not. I most likely probably won't use it. This thing is hot, y'all. Y'all see how I'm moving? This stuff is smoking. Get it together. Hold on. I'm not doing very much of a detailed curl because I'm kind of in a rush. Well, I'm not kind of in a rush, but I want I want to be done. So by the time I get done doing this, all I have to do is put on like my accessories and stuff like that. So that's why I want to go ahead and get my shower out the way so I can. Um, be dressed, and I do just put on like little small things like my earrings and stuff like that. It's starting to come together real nice. Get away for me to not be party. I'm just doing it, just pulling strands and just curling. That's it. That's it. That's all. And so my curl, I, I know y'all. I don't know if I showed y'all. I had in a box curl iron. <sighs> for some reason, it's not. It's not doing it for me. It's not, it's not, I don't know, it won't, it slides off my hair and everything. It's not, mm -mm. like, even with the, um, the wig, the red wig I tried to use, it like it won't, it won't grasp the hair. Like how flat iron grasp the hair, it won't grasp it. And it pretty much slides off. And that kind of made me mad. So I feel like I wasted my money getting it. Recurve that again, over here. So I was kind of upset about that. But hey, I'm going to learn how to do it. Because I know I did manage to get some curls out of it. Because I know um, y'all seen that um, the outfit of the day with the plaid. With the plaid um, vest. Flannel vest. Flannel vest. With the flannel vest. Yeah, that's going to be my nephew. I'm going to try to sound like a train. But um, the flannel vest. I end up curling my hair with the hair curl that day. But I y'all I was struggling. I was struggling, like, like why would it not catch my hair? And it wouldn't catch it for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so mama don't decide. And see I love my hair. It flat out so easy, like. Especially when I've been on fresh and wash it. What curl that was? I'll get this little part right here. So I want to be flat up here. Okay. So that's the first side. It's one side. And then we get the other. I have to comb it like I want to. See how I want it to go. See how I want it to go. Something like that. But we're going to figure it out. So let's get this side.
together. Excuse them kids, man, y'all. And see, I I have problems curling this side. You know, some people, it only be that one side that you can't do. And mine is my right side. I can do my left, but I can't do my right. Just let me take you in. Hmm? Can I watch that commercial? Watch the who? Go in there, buddy. But I can't do my right. It's hard for me to do my right. And look, I can't even grip, <laughs> grip it the first. It feels backwards. I'm at the curl. I curled it up. Cause baby, I cannot. Y'all be like, you have a side that you can't do. I can't do my right. I can't do it. I put. I can't do it good as I do my legs. I put it that way. And then also, I think my right side, the right side of my hair, is kind of thicker. <laughs> thicker than my lip. Ooh, this is hot. I'm sorry, my niece was. Alright, so my niece coming. I'm gonna call y'all back in a minute. So my hair is curled, as y'all can see. The thing about it, I did my right side better than my left, and I had trouble doing um doing my right side. It's crazy. What are you so I'm gonna go ahead and put my accessories on. I will be doing an OOTD on a short. I gotta start getting more into short form content, y'all. I don't know why. It I don't know. It's more. It's more of a struggle for me to do short form content than to do long form content. Even though I have plenty of opportunities to make short form content, but I just don't. But I'm gonna make one today for my outfit because I want to show the full outfit. So I'm gonna finish getting dressed. By the time you see me again, I'll probably be heading out or maybe at the restaurant or whatever. But yes, so I'm gonna finish getting dressed. I'm gonna go record this OOTD and stuff like that. So yes, let's go made it home y'all i had a wonderful time oh uh, i'm so sleepy but guess what kevin here cooking y'all say hey not a plan what's up what happened yeah all the cabinets open kevin in here being kevin being house husband material <laughs> kevin <laughs> kevin okay here cook some baked some baked chicken and greens and cornbread what's up you been what's this over here macaroni and cheese Okay, they kept on here cooking, y'all. But I uh, I made it home probably about an hour. Well, maybe two hours ago then. I ended up being on the phone for a long time listening, um, counseling and stuff like that. But anyway, I just want to come here and just say, what's up? I just want to come in here and just get ready to hang up with y'all because, baby, I am tired. And we can start off again tomorrow, okay? So I love y'all. There's your niece. Okay. See, she out in her little night clothes and stuff. So, anyway. We finna get ready to go to bed. See you later. See you later, man. I love y'all, and I'll catch you in the next video call. isn't all I need. Give me God. Because...